Welcome <laughs> back. It is Babes. 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 With Jordan. Whitney. Free. What is up? Hi. What is new? <laughs> We're here yet again as your request monkey videos. <laughs> request what? what? Request monkey? Our I'm gonna be short the meat. Reaction monkeys. We're reaction okay. monkeys for you guys. I don't know where I was going with that. We're just gonna get rid of that. Anyways. No, let's stay no. Subscriber requests. <laughs> we are show. here for sub <laughs> subscriber requests. Yes. Um, we are going to be Bree's gonna be we're gonna be pulling out of Sebastian again. Yes. Um to get to it, you get <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not that sorry. Took me a <laughs> Uh, I, I know it took me so I said it. I said like, it and was like, like filter? filter? Wait, okay. <laughs> I said it and moved on and then I started like, thinking about it again. Like, it oh, caught God. by that oh. time it caught up to us. So yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. I love it. Here we go. Bree is gonna Back on task. go and get a request. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, okay. Oh, they're stuck need... together. There's so many in there. Okay, do you need Feels like we need two hands. I got it. Oh, there we go! Oh my god! <laughs> About time! Okay, yes. we have Dreamcatcher. We are going to be doing it's a three reaction video. So that is only because yes, you've thrown so many of their songs at us for various reasons because yes. we know they cover different genres. Yes. So I feel like when we finally drew this, we talked about it. When we get to it, we want to do three in one. So yes. let us know if you like it. So we're going to be doing Dreamcatcher. Holden tight. <laughs> Holden. Um, and then we're going to be doing Scream, Red Sun, and Boca? Like, or is it B-O-C-A? Just B-O-C-A. Boca? Is that how you would say that? I'm not sure. No, it's oh, not like that. Let us know. <laughs> uh, yeah, let us know. Um, We've been waiting for this one, and I know our subscribers have been waiting for this one, too. Yeah. We talk about it pretty much every other day. And I'm like, it's in there. This way. It's in there. I promise. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do all three of them, uh, and then we'll give ratings at the end. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now my understanding is this is a girl group, right? This is a girl group. So the first girl group. First girl group. Hey. I'm glad it's their our first. So I would. Do we know ages on this group? How? I don't. We probably should do a safety know. check. Just I can out of respect. Check real quick. 25, 23. The youngest is twenty one. Okay. Hooray! Yay! All right. Sure. So, we do not discriminate. If a music video is hot, it's, it's hot. hot. Doesn't matter if it's a, if it's man or female, male or female. He, she, they, neither, neither, nor. Neither, neither, or both. Yep. Um. So, it's all about person. Our scale still apply. We got our baddie scale. We know that one. We want to go from zero to ten to get all baddie and crazy. Um, and then we got our panty scale from 10 to 0. We want to lose it. We want to get so hot where we take all our clothes off. Um, <laughs> that is the have fun. goal. Yes. Go um, away then, pennies. Yes. <laughs> so the first one. The first one. Okay, so the reason why we um, wanted to cover this one first is because it was the first one suggested to us specifically because it has a more gothic concept. Okay. It is Red Sun. So the... Basically, the conversations I've been having with the subscribers is they're recommending these based for various reasons based on the genre and they want our take on it. Okay. So we know nothing of this, so we will definitely rate them genuine. Based. Yeah, no, nothing. <laughs> yes. I've never listened yeah, to them. Me nothing. So this is I'm excited. True. I love first reaction groups. on everything. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Red Sun, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Hit hard right out of the gate. Proof. I love like bangs like that. Mm -hmm. And just the whistle bangs. Long. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay. This is like a regular Friday night for us. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a little bit more of a traditional Victorian mm -hmm. golf vibe. Romantic yeah. golf. Mm -hmm. They're not very goth though. Here and there. Maybe I'm just a little bit more of an elder goth. I can spot the baby bats in my way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
closer. Better. Oh, I like that chair in the background. Okay, so one thing I've noticed since we've been asked to rate their graphic concept is the dancing. Yeah. Not very graphic yeah. dancing. Yeah. No. I mean, I understand it's the genre that's the standard per se, but I feel like if you're going to do a darker concept, maybe get a little bit more familiar with some of the moves. But I mean, you, they also, if you're doing a darker concept, I get why they did that, because they want to appeal to... They still want to keep their fans. Exactly. Yeah. They want to appeal to the audiences that are used to seeing the strong K-pop dancing, or whatever you want to call it. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm about to take it to your back. <laughs> Better. Some butter, some butter. And when the dancing, we don't do the snapping like this. It's more of a punch and yeah. flutter. Like we don't basically like that. Like no, we yeah. don't do that. Mm, okay. I don't circle. hate it. Yeah, I like it. I, I mean, it's a good first start. We'll go over ratings. Oh, this is like blue bear. Oh my god, the color difference. Oh, I know, right? right? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. We would never do that, though. No, we would never do that. It would be, it's just not the beat. <laughs> no, uh -oh. it would just be like. Yeah. It would it'd either be, be really hard freaking attitude or it'd be a lot more fluid and elegant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so, all right, well, okay, right. so anybody that is from South Korea, please let me know what their darker scene is like, even if they have a goth scene, Ooh, because yeah. I don't know what it would be like. Ooh, um, good first attempt, I will say that, but yeah mm. um i think they have the attire and like the look like if we're if we're comparing like if we're gonna try to compare apples to apples you know, right um style wise it was pretty good hair could have been a little bit different mm -hmm. for some of them makeup could have been a lot deeper and darker, darker and more yeah. stuff um I see however however this is the this is the first and only time I've seen anybody, whether it was a girl group or boy group, that had mm -hmm. this type of like hard going going. This was like you knew this was the aesthetic that yeah, they were going true. for. Yeah. yeah, you knew it was going to be goth. So with that in mind, and you know, maybe they don't know a whole lot about that type of stuff. Maybe it's like new. You know, mm -hmm. I I applaud them for their bravery. Though I that think that fantastic. they did a good a good yeah. job. You know, going from, you know, maybe not knowing anything about it to, like, mm -hmm. having that type of style and aesthetic. I think they did a decent job. I don't think... I think we have to remember that they may not have access to all the information True. that we do. Correct. And so, or they might not have this, seen it all. Yeah, for this, I think it, it's more accurate to call it gothic and not goth. Yes. There is a difference between those. I would agree with that. They went gothic. Yes. And it was... In everything other than the actual song. Yes. It had hints you could tell where they were attempting because there yes. were the drops of like the like the Victorian kind of like the organ little, piano yeah. and like yeah. notes and that's mm -hmm. probably about it. Because there is gothic pop 
it there oh, yeah. it does exist mm -hmm. that didn't hit it no gothic pop is like it's like what's it a uh, military parade kind of a kind of but i was thinking i mean you you've got a pop uh -huh. um you've always i also a little bit more current i would say check out trust mm -hmm. yeah. um for us that is a little bit more um but it's dark it's really yeah. dark and it's not overly flamboyant mm -hmm. in terms of pop cuteness if that makes sense yes mm -hmm. so yeah let's let's move on because i want to get all of them get a good overview of this group and then give my final ratings mm -hmm. okay so you want to do ratings in between no because no. okay. i want to just for the sake of longevity of this video okay. plus i want to give them a fair shot because sure. i know they're attempting multiple genres which is amazing most groups don't cover yeah. multiple genres so i want to give them a good fair, fair which one rating. do you want to do next um another one that's been requested a lot is uh scream and then boca okay so my understanding is scream is more metal okay so you want to see how hard they go yeah sure okay I think all right and we're going to do scream right now so let's go Yes. <laughs> so is there, what's the time difference between the two? I should have paid attention to that. I would There's say, only a few months. It's okay. like these are all within the past year. Because I'm getting more of a goth vibe here than I was. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> From styling Maybe to makeup. Cemetery? No. More about their appearance and first impressions. Everybody said they want us to read the metal in this because they don't not familiar with it. Okay. I'm also trying to pay attention to the lyrics because metal lyrics are important. Yes. More oh, okay, that purple, that purple. Yeah. Okay, See, why couldn't we get this in the last one? Yeah, like, come on. This is way more aesthetic, like it. Yes. Okay, super like Doctor Who vibes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Your nerd is showing. Okay. Um, Okay. I will say one thing I'm noticing with these groups that are attempting heavier, more distorted guitars and harder, faster beats, they don't really know how to move with them. So they don't know how to dance hard. You can't dance like you would like a foot pop music. You can't. I think they want to call it metal just because there's the there's harder the, yes, the harder it's hard. I, I get it. To be honest, I'm not feeling a very huge metal no, rock vibe at all. It's just a guitar on it, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's fun though. Oh yeah, I, I went so far down to this I like this I like song yeah. way better than I like the other one. It's just not what they're saying it is. <laughs> the Scream 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 hits good too. Um, yeah. It reminds me a lot of um, kind of folk male goth a little bit. Yeah. So Chibi props on that. Okay. So maybe we picked the wrong order to be continued to what? I don't know if that's out Um, I think it's going to go to Boca. Right oh, really? Probably. So yeah. do we actually pick the hey. correct order on that for once? <laughs> Great! So. Yeah, because this is like kind of the start of Boca. Really quick, I want to touch on um, 
So overall, I like this this one's this song better. The concept Agreed. um it hit more of a darker feel than the other one did for me. That one just kind of was like more like a Victorian emotional yeah. than it was for like actual like Victorian esque. Like, I mean, how so do I, nice. I don't know how to explain this. You, you um, don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. Like, people who are not in goth have to remember, or who are not part of the goth scene, have to remember that just because somebody's wearing a black Victorian outfit does not make them goth. Correct. And goth does not always equal black. Correct. Yep. And people can wear fucking white for all I care, like those outfits that they had with like the lace and everything like that, mm -hmm. that still felt gothic to me because of like everything that was like surrounding, yes. like the emotion, the you know, like mm -hmm. just the, and the music and stuff like that. It just felt more. An attitude is a huge, huge part of it. Oh, they yeah. felt it more in this one than I, I, I agree felt with that. it too. Agreed. All right. Yeah. So before I go ramble too yeah. much on this, this one came out in August, so it's not too old. Oh, okay. sweet. Okay. So this one is B O C A or Boca. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, Boca also is a photography and film term. Um, it's the, when you have Boca, it, we're really quick, when you have Boca, it's like the fuzziness on, on a lens uh -huh. on the edges, um, mm -hmm. sometimes also known as vignetting. That's the term I'm familiar with. Um, it's what a lot of people call it Boca too. <laughs> Don't know why. Less syllables, easy to remember. Yep. All right. So now... I like it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Always love the street. It's like street cyber. Yeah. Little Neo. Okay. Where was this in the metal video? Right? <laughs> there is what I'm talking about. Attitude. Mm, I love the bus tape. I love that, like, with the tape and, like, that super sparkly ball gown. So it was actually... We'll um, talk about later. It was an artist and a movement. I like the beat. Yeah. This reminds me of an anime. I know. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> so so like it seems like there's a lot of members. I mean, have we seen more members in this one? Or did I just not see before? No, there's a there's quite a bit of... There's like... Backup. There's a lot. Okay. There, well, there's, there's a back. There's backup, too. There's... Yes, of course. There's seven members. Okay, I'm going to get some beat. Yes. Darker, hitting harder. Yes. Little EDM. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. Some time off. Not the yellow. Like space, yeah, yeah. Wet hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it is Boca. Okay, so I see why this one was suggested because this has got more of a rock feel. Yeah, it does. This is way more rock feel than the last one. Oh, that arrow though is beautiful. My bow and arrow. Oh, I don't want to watch anime for the rest of the day now. <laughs> Can you do it? Okay. All right. I like 
like that one the I, best. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I, that's the best one out of that all one's those That one's the best three. one for me. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm so glad yes. we did the three. That is our first girl yes. group. So I understand that is not going to be the standard for female groups. Yes. Um, yes. That, yeah, that's yes. not the standard. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I really want to know what their dark, heavier scenes are like where they're from. I really do, if they have one, because I'm really mm -hmm. curious now. Um, we'll have to go make one. So are we jumping right into scales overall? Um, are we just discussing thoughts? Like, how do you want to do this? I don't know if I have, like, a scale for this. I feel like... It's really difficult to pin that down. Well, because for me, it, like, as we watched them, it progressed better, better, better and better for yes. me. Yeah. And I feel like since we're all very similar in that type of aspect, we all felt that. Oh, yeah. It all felt like it was becoming more edgier and harder the more we watched. That could be what they were trying to do. Like they're trying Maybe. to move into the into this kind of like more genre, and like it was like the baby steps in between. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that because they agree did with seem that. to grow in yeah. concept because it was like everything. way more attitude in Scream than it was mm -hmm. in Red Sun. Yeah, yes. you gotta have not only attitude, but you gotta have that fearlessness. Mm -hmm. you, you just can't give a shit. Yeah, pretty much. That's really, yeah. Okay, that's seriously no, like seriously. <laughs> that is God, yeah people or people in the goth scene or even punk scene punk yeah. goth scene, oh, even metal metal like, and rock all the heavier you just, scenes you just got to know that me uh, everyone's going to like what you're going to like and you also have to know that like you're going to like it and you're not going to give a shit what everybody else say, says that's all or that thinks cuz that's literally all that matters and it doesn't matter i used to get thrown out of stores says. I you know, never had and that happen. Thrown out of stores. I mean, and then you also get the cat calling because you know RC is yeah. very objectified. Um, but I mean, you gotta you gotta have a that fearless. You have that spine of steel yeah, and thick skin, thick skin, and almost to the point of being flippant. But yet, that's also sort of a stereotype too because people think we're intimidating and scary and they don't want to come talk to us. Yet we are. Are so we intimidating? Super nice. and scary? Get that so all nice. the time. So do I. So do I. I'm like, I'm like so you're. Well, I don't get that because I'm a tiny person. I and they like, don't think that you are potentially me. foregoing what could possibly be a very the amazing conversation friendship. <laughs> and friendship. You know, but even just a conversation about yep. something because you're afraid. Like fear. No, I don't. I don't. Mm. I've been too long doing this to. I don't. I've, let's put it this way. Like, this music and this genre has taken me all around the world because there's bands that will never come to the U.S. that I've wanted to see that have been in my heart since I first heard them, like, decades ago. Oh, so it reminds me of that band that yes. we saw right before Baby Metal, the so one from, like, Sweden. Oh, Avatar? Yeah. Oh, Sweden I music. Like, oh, I love Scandinavian They are so Every much. genre fucking rocks. I've been doing taps on them. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's just, I have no fear. I backpack Europe alone to go see these obscure bands. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I saw London After Midnight. I got to see The Prodigy. Nice. You know, I, there's so broad of a range of all of these influential dark bands mm -hmm. that, and it's like, yeah. I'm tired of letting people tell me and put my dreams on hold what I can and cannot do because I like this. Like, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't have that fear anymore. See, again, so. again. Um, we don't give a fuck, or Zero. we don't give a shit. Um, but we care. There's a difference. Yes. We don't care what everybody else thinks, but we care about each so other. We care about humans. <laughs> and we just don't, and animals, and we just don't give a fuck about anybody who has opinions that don't matter. And let me be honest, almost everybody's opinion don't matter. <laughs> that's, that's, you're going to learn that in life, that most people's opinions the only opinion really that matters you. is what you yours. think of yourself. Agreed. Yeah. So, on that note, in that deep dive. Um, <laughs> deep dive. <laughs> deep dive. Um, anybody who oh, wants oh to I had friend. another thought, too. Okay, so. Not um, away. So, here in the States, I don't know how it is in other countries or in South Korea where they're from, but over the last few years, every single genre the females are coming out fiercer and harder and heavier and they are yes. leading the charge right now and that's just not not an uber pheasantism thing and i actually made a video because i've been to a lot of the 
um, tours that have actually come through our city because we mm -hmm. have a very well we did you know that, yeah. before yeah. but we the had an extremely lively four, music four scene for all genres so all these tours that came through our city we had some amazing ones and I actually compiled clips that I had taken from these and I made a female version and I'll link it somewhere in here in this but that just gives you some of example of some of the things I'm talking yeah. about and those are just the female groups that are mm -hmm. um, current now within the last few years and that have toured through here and we caught their tours and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's like you want to, you want to see what the attitude, the fearless, the music, you want to hear it, I'll, I'll link that. But um, some good references since I do feel like they are a little newer, I would definitely start out with, um, I mean you gotta, I mean they probably from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing little hits like you gotta go old school, like you want to um, check out Tori Amos, you want to oh, go yeah. Bjork, mm -hmm. you want to go, you want a little bit more attitude in metal, I would check out L7. That would be a good one. It's, it's a little more, got a little more dirty grunge to it, but yeah. like back in the 90s, like these really That's strong female groups, and you want to go metal, yeah. a yeah. good, one of my most favorite female metal groups I've ever seen, and they're really obscure, um, Promiscuous, um, but that's hitting more into female metal vocals yeah. and then you I mean some of the range I mean you see you got Evanescence that's probably a little bit more popular that is more yeah, yeah mainstream one they might yeah. know but yeah um I was think it's a good start I really mm -hmm. want to see what their scene is like I could yeah and if all and for this group in particular for Dreamcatcher I want to see them progress more because if they they're if doing they, it quickly and they did it they, they did it quickly and then the, the last one was Bravo. pretty freaking good if like I mean I'm being honest the last one was pretty good it was like just a span of that there. Few months right yeah like I'm this. talking months like I'm talking like hold on let me look. <laughs> So this one's August 17th, which was the last one we saw, which was Boca. Uh -huh. Scream was February 18th of this year. And Dream, uh, Red Sun was April 3rd. Okay. And it was all this year. All this year. Okay. Wow. So yeah, they are... I'm excited to see where they go. I hope they blow and set a whole new standard for female performers where they're from. Because if they, that is if their awesome. next music video is like, because they like with that last one, in my personal opinion, they were almost there. They were like oh, yeah. this mm -hmm. close. If we could yeah. bridge that gap, I will like stand them <laughs> for hard. hard. <laughs> I love me a structure. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give. I'm not really feeling like sexy reading. Mm -mm. Uh, the first one was kind of sexy a little bit just because of the way that they were dancing, but it didn't yeah. really fit anything. Um, yeah, well, yeah. Batty skill. Oh, eight. Well, between the three, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I gave it an eight. eight I was leaning half. about there. Like mm -hmm. it got better. Like I probably oh, yeah. started at a five, and then. I yeah, think I was I kind of like right there with you. I was kind yeah. of like mm, four. Mm. Yeah. Like, mm. In terms of like, I will attempt a hotness scale mostly for the beats. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, with the last one. So oh, they, okay. again, almost there. I would put them right in the middle. I'd give it a five, mostly because um, I'm. Oh, Averaging little, them all together. Exactly. Yeah. Not only that is like I they're it's trying mean. new things and that's what I'm giving them the yeah. points for. The effort. And the effort the, the and they progress super fast. And there was some really hot, aesthetically pleasing scenes. Like there mm -hmm. there's hints there. And if they're progressing that fast, that quickly I would just love that to just freaking knock everybody out of the water. And I wanna yeah. see like show I'll leave, I'll leave that female also, if you can see what I'm talking about. This is like the first time I've seen a K-pop girl group where they were sexually dancing with each other. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which I really like. Another reason why I gave them. Grab you never see. You see yeah. that all in like men and yeah. like the male dancing and like how the uh, how boy groups interact mm -hmm. with um, each other and it was being yes. sexy. That's so cute. And like girls for whatever reason. I'm not gonna get into it. Um, you, a lot of the girl groups aren't really that sexy, um, dance wise and stuff like that. Just because they'll have like like shorts, mini skirts, and stuff like that. Yeah. That's that's a whole other side. But I'm talking like like the dancing and like the your attitude's gotta fit. Yes. what you're trying to project through mm -hmm. your through your attire. Yeah, just totally basically. And it felt like they were slightly off. Like you said, they're oh so close, so close. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, so I'll put them, I'll attempt that, I'll put them right in the middle, because I am curious to see where they go, but uh, yeah, they could, they could take it farther. Mm -hmm. you, you got the groundwork, it's it's going to be amazing, I can tell. I, I hope they maybe, do really well. I, I'd give it a six. 
I'm not. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna get some of the gowns like you. the more traditional Six. hit more of my traditional vibe oh, a little yes, bit. Yes. If you're going flamboyantly female sexy, I'm like we're like a whole different standard over oh, here yeah. in the state. <laughs> so I don't think that's fair. Yeah. But like I said, I'm giving them points for trying and attempting because I think if I'm understanding the culture where they're from is like it's okay to show a lot of leg. Yes. A lot of a leg. lot of leg is good, but, but everything upright else is everything covered. is like covered. Yep. Yeah. So, like, this example oh, yeah, this would, would not happen. <laughs> so, like uh, both, of said, us were, both of us looked we're down and like, were like, like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, so I, mm, but yeah, I like where they're going. Yeah, and that's another reason why I'm not really big into the girl groups is I don't do cutesy well. <laughs> and I'm, I'm with cutesy. I mean, I, it's so I mix. <laughs> some it's okay, some things. I, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. for example, I, I consider us. Scary cute, scarily cute, cute yeah. scary. You know what I mean? But it's, yeah. I don't, I feel like that's, I don't know, that they do it too much. I want to see more of what they can do as performers, as artists. And I feel like they're restricted more because they are female sometimes. I uh, think yeah. society restricts them. Yes. yes. I know so that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. So I'm glad to see they're trying new things. I'm trying to I break out of that. I would yeah. agree. So sorry about the length of this video, but I wanted to give it a full blown <laughs> oh, yeah. fair overview. Yeah. So okay. look um, forward to them more. That's it for Dreamcatcher for today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to see what's next for them. Yes. Um, I really hope that they don't go backwards. I know. I really it, hope they're, they're, they're walking that razor edge. edge. Yeah. <laughs> they keep going. <laughs> You got it. Because don't be scared. No. Don't be scared. Don't <laughs> be timid. There's a few things I was like, oh, yeah. Gosh. No, don't be scared. <laughs> Just, Damn it. Damn it. Okay, you gotta anyways. learn where your fuck it switches. Just yeah. Give none fucks. Yeah. You gotta learn. You gotta learn that. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. This is it for this video. Thank we you, subscribers. Thank, thank you for adjusting. Thank you for adjusting. Yes, thank you for doing all of what you guys are doing. We appreciate everything that you guys do. Um, we love you. We will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Kiss, kiss. Bye, guys.